Okay, I am Pat, and this is Foundation Training. So we're going to get started by warming up all of our major joints. We're going to start by stepping over a hurdle from inside out, and then outside in. Alternating legs. Just going to get our joints warmed up, moving for a full range of motion. One more on each side. step back into this little lunge, warming up the knee joint. You don't have to go all the way down if that's not available to you, but if you can go all the way down, touch the back knee on the mat. And now we're going to take our hands to our shoulders and do a shoulder warm up. Reverse that. As we get older and get more sedentary, we don't tend to move our joints fully through their range of motion and we get stiff. So this is kind of a good thing to do a little bit every day. Side bend, try to move the hip just a little bit here. One more on each side. And then all the way around. Little back bend, reverse that, and through the legs, back bend. One more of those. Okay, hip circles. Nice and slow, make it really big, and then reverse that. And last thing going to do knee circles. So nice slow knee circle and then reverse that. Okay, so we are going to start feet hip distance apart, rock back onto our heels, clamp the toes down. We're lighting up the posterior chain of muscles here. And we want to start with decompression breathing. So taking deep breaths up in the chest. We're lifting the torso up out of the hips. We're also trying to get broad through our torso. <clears throat> Just using our breath. And now I'm going to add some muscle activation to this. So next time you take a deep inhale, clamp the abs down, suck the belly button in. The breath will stay up into the chest. The chin is back and the neck is long. So the belly stays contracted the whole time. Now we're going to bring our legs into this by squeezing the legs together without moving them. So these muscles right here activate. And we just are getting broad through our chest and long through our torso. While we suck the belly button in, squeeze the legs together, rock back onto our heels with the toes clamped down and now we're going to take our arms up overhead to accentuate this a little bit and keep all those activations happening deep breaths up in the chest belly button sucking in legs squeezing together and we can let that go for just a second so what we're doing here is countering how Life tends to put us in this position where we are collapsing in on ourselves, looking at our devices. So that is decompression breathing. Now we're going to add to that. Okay, so here we go right back into it. <clears throat> Weights back under the heels, toes clamped down, legs squeezing together, breath up in the chest, belly button sucking in, arms up overhead. And now we're going to do what we call the one inch hinge. So the hips go back an inch or two. I'll do that one more time. Take, we just slide the hips back and we put this arch in our low back. That's called a brace back. <clears throat> and we are just working those muscles that support that little bit of arch in our back. And that is the work we are trying. That's the area that we're trying to focus on. 
Okay, so I'm going to turn back to the front. And here we go. We're going to drop our arms, keeping that arch in our low back. Hinge forward about 30 degrees. Very little bend in the knee. Arms come wide. A couple deep breaths here. And then we take our arms out and the hips go back. So now we have this tug of war with our hands going forward and our rear end going back like we're closing the chest or drawers with our rear end. Very little bend in the knee here. Arms go all the way up. A little bit more load on the low back. And we come out of that. That is called the bounder. Okay, now we're going to try this lunge stance. This is called woodpecker. So make sure both feet are straight ahead. You're up on the toes of the back foot. There's a little bend in the front knee here. We're scissoring our legs together. So we've got that activation happening the whole time. We're going to do the decompression breath here, getting our torso long and broad. Take our arms up. We're lifting our torso up out of our hips. Chin is back and the neck is long. Legs squeezing together the whole time. And we're just breathing up in the chest. Belly button sucking in. We're going to keep all that length in our torso. Drop our arms. Hinge out over that front leg. <clears throat> so about 80% of our weight is in the front leg now. You're going to feel your right hamstring working. Hands to the hips here. And we're going to do a little rotation out to the right. Going from the hips. When we get out there, we're going to squeeze our right glute to come back to center. Two more of those out to the right. Squeeze to come back. This time when we go out to the right, we're going to stay there, shoot our arms out, give the sphere of tension, back to center, arms all the way up. So we're just trying to telescope our our spine out here, getting it a little bit longer. We're pushing through the heel of the front foot, toes of the back foot. And we come out of that. You can shake that front leg out. Go to the other side, left foot forward, right foot back. Both feet are straight ahead. Little bend in the front knee, legs scissoring together. Deep breath up into the chest. Take our arms up. Get a little bit longer through the torso. Belly button is sucking in the whole time. Deep breaths up into the chest the whole time. Okay, keeping that length in our torso. Drop our arms. We hinge out long over that front leg. Take our hands to our hips. And we're gonna do a little rotation to the left this time. So from the hips, we rotate to the left. Squeeze the left glute to come back to center. Two more of those out to the left. Squeeze. This time when we get out there, shoot our arms out. And then squeeze the glute to come back. And here we go, arms all the way up. And now we're trying to extend our spine a little bit more. Pushing through the toes of the back foot and the heel of the front foot. Get one inch more length in our torso. And then we come out of that. Shake that leg out. Okay, so one of the things in foundation training is we want to pattern this hip hinge. So if we have to bend over to pick something up off the ground, we don't want to lose the integrity of our spine by bending in the mid back. Because as soon as we do that and we pick up something, down here, all of the weight's going to go right to our low back. Instead, what we want to do is big hip hinge, drop down, pick up whatever we have, and then use the big muscles in our legs and rear end to pick it up. So we're going to pattern that now by doing some squats. So feet out at the edge of your mat. We're going to slightly turn them out. We're going to do the big hip hinge counterbalancing with the arms and we're going to really sit back into our heels and all the way down and pressing up through the heels to come back up. So this is how we want to sit down in a chair nice and slowly and under control. 
instead of air dropping the last few inches and jarring the low back. This is a very important functional move. We want to be able to do this our whole life. Let's do three more. Inhale down. Exhale up. Two more. This time we get down there, we're going to stay. Bring our arms to here. Little pulses. Okay, arms out in front. I'm going to turn to the side here. So we straighten up our legs some. Our torso is long out in front of us. I'm going to turn up one palm at a time and lift. This is called the gorilla lift. The back is long and strong, pressing back into our hips. Slow lifts here, the palm up. All right, one more on each side. And fingertips to the shins, pressing up through the heels, back to standing. Okay, we're working our balance here. So, ground your right foot into the floor or the mat. Cast your gaze on something on the floor, six or eight feet in front of you to help with the balance and then start lifting up the left leg. You can stay really low here, or you can lift it up to hip height, work at your edge. Just a little balance work. You feel steady, you want. Take your arms up. And even here, we're trying to get really long through our torso. All right, come out of that. Go to the other side, ground the left foot in. Get steady. Put your gaze on something. Start lifting up the right leg. Balance is a little bit different every day for everybody. Bring, take the arms up if you want. And if you want the challenge, you can close an eye. Big challenge, close both eyes. And then come out of that. Okie doke. So now we're gonna we're gonna do. Uh, Founder with wide legs, so get your feet outside of uh, mat distance apart. Make sure they're straight ahead. There's a tiny break in the knees, so we don't want to be here. We don't want to be there. We just unlock the knees. The weight is back onto the heels. The toes clamp down. We do this decompression breath. Bring our arms all the way up. And take a couple of deep breaths here. And then we're going to do that one inch hinge. So here we go, the hips go back. We put that, emphasize the arch in our low back. Those are the muscles that we're going to be contracting the whole time. Along with that, we're squeezing our legs together. We're squeezing our belly button in, so we're contracting the abs. We're going to hold each of these positions, there's four of them, for 20 or 25 seconds trying to build up the endurance of the muscles that support the low back. So there's the first position, keeping that arch in the low back, we drop our arms, hinge forward about 30 degrees, chest stays lifted, rear goes back, arms come wide, and now we're going to just rotate the palms here. Don't let the legs bend too much here. <clears throat> Keep that brace happening in your low back. A little bit more work here because we're tilted forward. We're going to add to that work in the next part. And here we go. Shoot the arms out, fingertips together. The rear can go back a little bit further because we have this counterbalance. And now I'm going to describe the spheres of tension here with your fingers. So they're both pressing together and pulling apart at the same time. <clears throat> we're also Pressing our legs together. We're also sucking our belly button in. And our low back is working pretty hard here. The muscles in the low back are working. We got one more spot to go. And that's just by lifting the arms up. <clears throat> this is a little bit more weight on the low back. If it ever gets to be too much, just come out of it, come back into it not used to this, it can be very difficult. 
It never really gets easy, even if you are used to it. Okay, hold for five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna release our hands all the way down. We can bend the knees a lot. Fingertips way out in front. Press them back into the heels here. Straighten up the legs. And we're trying to get a big hamstring stretch here. Back is long and strong. And bringing our fingertips to our shins. And come up by pushing up through the heels. Okay. Let's go into that one more time really quickly. Legs far apart, squeezing together. Weights back on the heels. Decompression breath. One inch hinge, we put that arch in our low back. We won't hold it for very long this time. Deep breath here, keeping the arch in the low back. Drop the arms, hinge forward 30 degrees. Arms come wide. Little rotations here. Keep squeezing those legs together. Keep squeezing the belly button in. Press the hands out, rear goes back. This time we're gonna bring our elbows and palms together. Little lifts here. out, arms all the way up, and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, keep squeezing the legs together, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and come out of that, and you can walk that off for just a second, just take a little stroll around your mat, we'll integrate that in to our body. And from here, if we go down to the mat, we're going to start in plank here. So get in a nice, strong plank position, hands under shoulders, <clears throat> feet hip distance apart. Now, without moving anything, we're going to draw our hands towards each other and draw our feet towards each other. So the whole center of the body is tightening up, and just pressing that as hard as you want. You're Arms will probably tremble a little bit. That's what we want. And you can release that. Drop the knees down. The hands underneath the shoulders. Knees underneath the hips. Take the left arm long. The right leg long. Eyes looking straight down. We want no movement in our spine here as we bring our elbow and knee together in the center. Nice smooth movement here. Using the core to stabilize our spine. Two more. Next time, catch your balance in the long position and hold. And you can put those limbs down. And here we go. Right arm, left leg. Catch your balance. Get really stable through the core. All elbow and knee together, together in the center. Two more. Catch your balance. And hold. And you can put those down. Okay, we're going to drop down to the mat. Our bellies on the floor. Our forehead is down. Toes are. Uh, legs are together, toes are together here. Your, the toes are turned under. Palms are down on the floor outside your hips. And you're going to press your hips hard into the floor. Lift your hands, head, and torso up about six inches. Press the feet together. And try to get your spine long here. You'll feel that same work we felt in founder. Slowly come down. We go open this two more times, press up into it. Deep breaths. Trying to get long here. Slowly come down. One more. Press up into this and hold. Eyes looking straight down, no strain on the neck. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Come down. Rest. Turn your head to one side. Release your back. This 
Move your hips back and forth here. Okay. So we're going to go to something called eight point plank. So we're going to get our elbows just in front of our shoulders, palms down, feet are at hip distance apart, toes are turned under. And we're going to press through our knees, floating the hips up, low flat back. And from here, without moving anything, we draw the elbows and knees towards the center of our body, towards each other, and then fingertips and toes straight down to the ground. Eyes are looking straight down. Your whole ab complex should be working here. You can alternate between that drawing elbows and knees together, and fingertips and toes straight down. Pressing that hard for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, release. Come all the way back down to that starting position. Forehead down, feet together, legs together, palms down outside your hips. This time you're going to lift the feet up off the ground about 6 inches. Press the knees hard together. Press the hips down with the hands, head, and torso up as we press knees together. Feel that same work on the low back here. Come down. Two more of these. Press up into this. Press the knees together. Hold on to that. Keep pressing the knees in. Slowly come down. Last one. This is the last back work. Press up into it. Press the knees hard together. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release. Turn your head to the other side. And move your hips back and forth. Okay, we're going to do eight point plank. I'll turn to the side this time. Just to give you a different view of it. So here we go elbows in front of shoulders, feet at hip distance apart. And then we press through the knees, float up the hips. Draw elbows and knees towards the center, towards each other. Fingertips and toes straight down. Eyes looking straight down. Should be a lot of work on your abs. This is a safe way to do ab work because you don't have to bend the low back. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release that. Okay, getting to the end here. And flip over on the back. <clears throat> We're going to do a regular bridge. So arms up to the side, knees bent a lot. We're going to press up, especially through the heels, really high up. Trying to turn on the rear end muscles, the glutes. Big stretch in the front of the thighs, the quadriceps. And we're gonna balance on your left foot. Extend the right leg. And bring that back down. Balance on the right foot. Extend the left leg, about 45 degrees here. Keep pressing up hard through that right leg. And then drop that one back down one more time through the center. And we come down. Extend our legs just a little bit. The more you extend them, the harder this is. This time you're gonna balance on your heels. Bring the knees together and the feet together. Press up here in a bridge. This is called a foundation bridge. Without moving anything, you're going to drag your heels towards your rear end. That will <coughs> cause the hamstrings to activate. Keep pressing to that. And then slowly release down. <coughs> All right. We're going to cross our legs tightly here. Right over left. Let the legs fall to the right. Don't let the left hip come up too much. Left arm is long behind you. 
On the ground, you can take a deep breath into the left side. You can rock your head back and forth here. Just letting the breath slow down and letting the heart rate slow down. Okay, bring your head back to neutral. Left fingertips up to the ceiling. One little crunch. Back down, big stretch here. And unravel out of that side, left over right. Let the legs fall to the left. Right hip stays low. Right arm long behind you on the ground. Breathing into our right rib cage here. And if it feels good, keep rocking the head. Neutral, right fingertips up to the ceiling. Last little bit of work, one crunch. Come down and a big stretch here. And here we go. Prop ourselves up onto our elbows. Keep the knees bent a lot and just gently pressing together. This is the last thing we're doing. Grab the mat, traction your back as you lay down. So getting it as long as you can get it. If you get down there, take your head in your hands, traction the neck. Put it down, both arms up and overhead behind you, interlace the fingers, take a deep inhale through the nose, full exhale through the mouth, two more of those, deep inhale, trying to get as much space in the vertebrae as you can, full exhale, last inhale, deep as you can take it, getting as much space as you can, when you exhale, blow every bit of air out, down, roll over to one side, head comes up last, and that's it. Congratulations, good job.